Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my site-to-site -site VPN in Azure using the Ubiquiti UDM Pro as the on-premises device. Cool, so let's start by taking a look at what it is we're trying to set up. So we're trying to set up um, the Azure site-to-site -site VPN where we have the on-premises device um, being a Ubiquiti UDM Pro. Um, so I've already configured this, so this is gonna be a short video just walking through all the stuff that's created in Azure to get this to work. So you have a secure connection between any device that's connecting via your UDM Pro in your local network, so your home network or your business network, um, and going into and out of Azure. So you have a secure connection between those endpoints. So in order to get this to work, you'll need a resource group. Once you have your resource group, which contains all of your uh, Azure objects, you then have your virtual network. Within the virtual network, you create a number of subnets. In my case, I've got two subnets. I'm using private IP addresses for my subnets and I have the gateway subnet. So the two subnets that I have um, actually house the VMs and then I have the gateway subnet as well and the gateway subnet houses the virtual network gateway which is your VPN device within the Azure environment. The virtual network gateway connects to your on-premises device via a connection which you create in Azure and that connection also connects to a local network gateway and the local network gateway is what then connects to your uh, on-premises device, in this case, the UDM. So that's what we're gonna be looking at what that looks like in Azure. So I have my resource group. Um, I'm using the West EU region. Within that, I have created my virtual network. So if I go into the virtual network, you can see I have some address space, so I've defined what my address spaces are and the number of addresses that I have available. I then also have the subnets, which are created as part of the virtual network when you set that up. So you create the two or more uh, subnets, which has your, v your v VMs afterwards. And then you have your gateway subnet, which houses your virtual network gateway, uh, which is your your um, VPN device in Azure. So that's the VNet. If you go back, you can see, um, so I've also deployed a, a test VM in here that I used to test um, if I was able to connect um, to other net from other networks. So just um, like a normal 4G network into Azure, which it doesn't work. Only connections going through the UDM Pro uh, actually work. So you have your virtual network. The next thing that you create um, is the virtual network gateway. So within the virtual network gateway, you have um, your SKU that you've chosen. So in this case, I just chose a basic SKU. I have my connection. Um, you can see that it's currently connected. This uh, connection works both ways. So I have um, I have it connecting to my local network gateway, which I'll show you now, and then connecting to this um, virtual network gateway as well. So the other thing that you need to have um, created is the local network gateway, which I'll show you quickly. Um, this is the local network gateway. Here you have your on-premises device um, IP address. It needs to be a static IP address. Um, this is the div the IP address for your um, on-premises device, so in my case, the UDM Pro. Um, and then you define the address space in your local network that will be able to connect through the UDM Pro. So only these um, specific IP address ranges are allowed to connect um, to Azure. So any of the devices that I want in my local network to connect to Azure need to be within that address space. And then again, the connection, so connecting the virtual network gateway and the local network gateway um, into Azure. 
Um, and then finally, just taking a look at what that looks like in Azure, um, the connection itself. Um, I have the authentication type. In this case, just a. Um, in this case, just a pre-shared key. This pre-shared key you get from the um, unified, uh, the UDM Pro. Um, I'll show you what that looks like just now. And then you have your configuration settings as well. I've just left everything as default in here. Um, a couple of things to note around the IKE protocol, which I'll put in the blog post and link in the video as well. And then I just created a, a, I just created, so, and then I also just created a, a virtual machine, which is assigned um, just as a test, which is trying one of the IP addresses um, using the v, the VNet itself um, to create or to test the connectivity for me. Um, the other part to this is So the other part to this is the um, so the other part to this is the UDM Pro. So in the UDM Pro, within Teleport and VPN, in the network settings, you create a new site-to-site -site VPN. Once you do that, you once you do that, you have a new um, Side to side VPN setup. This is where you get your pre-shared key from, the one that you'll share in the Azure connection. Um, you then also have um, your server address. So this is the address for your WAN one. Um, in this case, for your UDM Pro, you then define the subnets. So these are the subnets that you created in Azure um, within your um, virtual network. Um, so these are the addresses that are um, defined for your subnets. You get a remote IP. So this remote IP, I can show you really quickly. This remote IP comes from here. So you you assign a, uh, a public IP address to your um, virtual network gateway, which is that address, which then you put into the um, remote device configuration settings here. You leave everything else manual. Um, so you set everything to manual. And then these are the settings that I chose. These are default settings. The one which I did change, which made um, the difference in connecting is the IKE DH group. I set that to two. I think previously it was 14 as well. Set that to two. Leave everything else as default. Um, and then uh, you should have your your connection working as expected. Cool, so maybe just a quick last recap, going back to the image. Um, yeah, kind of just showing again what that looks like. All of the components within Azure that make up um, your site-to-site -site VPN connectivity.